Nityanam guys, welcome back to another episode of this ultimate series of Guru-Disciple relationship and why you should cherish Guru-Disciple relationship. In today's episode, one powerful cognition, how to have a glimpse of the space of thoughtlessness. So, um, when we are established in the mind, when we operate from the mind, we operate from an inner space filled with thought currents and thoughts. We forgot how it tastes and how it feels to be in that space of enlightenment, in that space of pure oneness, in that space of Advaita, of non-duality. That is why receiving the initiation of the Guru, the Shaktipada of the Guru, the uh, entanglement or oneness with the Guru is mandatory. The Guru is established in a space of thoughtlessness. And because he is established in that space, he can give us a glimpse of that space. Once we get a glimpse of that space, then our yearning and our seeking will be so much more intensified. It's as if you never tasted honey before and then suddenly you have a taste of honey. Now that the experience of honey is remembered by the mind, naturally the mind will be striving to get that experience again. And that intensity in the seeking and the yearning, that increase of intensity is necessary for you to be ferocious with yourself and to drop the patterns which are responsible for you cherishing powerlessness. So that is why receiving the initiation, the Shaktipada, the entanglement, the oneness from the Guru is mandatory. Only a space of thoughtlessness can give you a glimpse of thoughtlessness. You established in a space of thoughts cannot experience thoughtlessness. So then again, reinforcing another powerful cognition which is that experience has to be given. Only when it is given, then it is really possible for us to be fully established into it. Otherwise, if we get it on our own, it is still an, in the, an experience which is somehow rooted in the identity and it might be sweet, but it is not and it cannot be the ultimate. So in order to achieve the ultimate, the Guru-Disciple relationship is mandatory. And that is why, again, in the last video I quoted it, but actually I did a small mistake. In the Agamas, the Hindu sacred scriptures, it says, Shiva happens in the life of a sincere seeker in the form of Guru. In the previous video I said uh, in the life of a disciple, but no, it is a sincere seeker. When your seeking becomes sincere, Shiva lands in the form of the Guru in your life and gives you the experience, guides you towards that space of Paramashivoham once again. So with this guys, I'll see you guys in another episode of this wonderful series, Nityanandam.